Hey everyone, Colin here and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use the crypto screener on TradingView. Okay, so of course, first and foremost, um, go ahead and sign up for a free account on TradingView by clicking on the link below this video. And once you create that free account, then you can you come right here to the screener all right and I'm gonna show you guys how to use it and how this saves you a lot of time in essence what the screener does is that if you have a particular indicator or, or some factor that you want to look for in a trading pair to look for opportunities the screener will actually go through all of the currencies for you and it will show you those results immediately so that saves you tons of time, energy, and effort, okay? So all you got to do is come right here to where it says screener. Move your mouse over screeners. You'll notice they have a stock screener, a forex screener, and a crypto screener. So you can actually use this for any of these markets. In this case, we're going to go to the crypto screener. So click on crypto screener. And... Um, Usually by default, you'll see something like top gainers or something like that. So what this is showing you is that within the cryptocurrency market, this is showing you all of the top gainers right now and their percentage, right? Now, let's just say, let's just use a very, very simple example here. Let's say that you're using an indicator called the Relative Strength Index. And I only want to know which currency pairs are in overbought territory, which means they are above 70 on the RSI. So I'm going to come right over here, okay, to RSI. I'm going to hit this button to the side, and then I can actually specify what I'm looking for. So I will say above, and I'm going to say 70. So what this is telling me is more than likely there's a correction coming very soon for this particular pair. So maybe I'm looking to short it or I'm just waiting for a good dip opportunity in order to buy. Okay, so I'm saying, hey, any currency pair that's above 70 on the RSI, I want you to tell me about it. And I hit enter. Or oh, sorry, I just click out of that. Now you notice that this category is here. All right. And additionally, look over to the right and you'll notice it says right here, time interval. Okay, so I can specify whether I want it to be the four hour, the daily, the one hour, the one week, etc. Now, if you're using the free version, then more than likely you cannot go to a smaller frame, time frame than the daily candles. If you want to be able to search at smaller time frames, then you'll have to upgrade your plan. It's absolutely worth it because of the time and energy and money that it saves and um, time and energy it saves, sorry, which also equates to money because you can find opportunities quicker, especially if you're looking to trade on smaller time frames as well, all right? But in this case, I just have it on the daily. And if you notice right here, it returns a list to me and it says 295 matches. That's a lot, right? So maybe I want to narrow it down to just Bitcoin pairs. So I'll click inside here and I'll type BTC. So then it's only going to narrow it down to pairs that are that are compared or traded against BTC. Now you notice I have 82 matches, right? I mean, that took it down significantly. And so I can scroll down and I can look at different pairs. I may be looking for specific pairs that I'm interested in. As you, I can see Tron, Bitcoin, um, right? Um, Tron again, that's come up several times here. Uh, Rev, Aragon, right, Gam, Ant, right, so I'm, I'm seeing a few file coin, I'm seeing some uh, coins here that, you know, I normally would trade anywhere that I, I don't mind holding for long positions, right, so you see I can actually see right away which coins are actually in this territory, now if I want to take a look at that chart, all I have to do is click on that particular pair so let's say Tron Bitcoin I click on Tron Bitcoin and then it will actually pull up that chart for me okay so this makes life very easy in order for you to find these pairs very quickly 
and then you can look at a more in-depth chart. So once I get here, I would click on Full Featured Chart. This would open up my particular chart layout that I have saved, and um, I can take a closer look at what's happening, right? But first and foremost, and as you can see, ooh, huge, uh, huge launch right there. But as you can see, um, you know, it helped me instead of me having to look through literally hundreds or even thousands of pairs. All I had to do was go to my screener. I wanted to set my parameters. What do I want it to? What am I looking for? And then, what kind of pairs am I looking for? Am I looking for BTC? I can, and if I'm looking for a particular coin, I could have stated TRX to see if TRX is in there, right? And once again, it'll only um, return the search parameters that has Tron in it. So any pair that Tron is tied to, you can see down here, Tron EOS, Tron Ethereum, and additionally, it has to be at least 70 on the RSI on the daily time frame. And in this case, the change is above um, 0%, right? So if I wanted to remove that, I could simply click in here and I could just remove this number and it would no longer be a parameter. Okay, so this is how you can use this screener to quickly search for um, your specific trading strategy or indicators that you like. If you wanted to add a category, you can go right over here where these different dots are and click on column setup. I can choose what columns do I want included on the screener, right? If I want to search by volume, I can deselect or select any additional categories based on what they have right here, okay? So that's how easy it is, guys. If I wanted to search by a specific exchange, I can add that to, the, to my parameters. I'll go right here again, and do I want any exchange? Or I can say, look, I'm only looking for what's available on the Binance exchange. Again, it will only return specifically Tron pairs, because that's what I asked for, that are above 70 on the RSI on the daily time frame at the Binance exchange. So you see how this can, this can save you tons of time, guys. It helps you to be very specific and it helps you to find exactly what you're looking for in seconds. This is how you use the crypto screener. Okay, guys? And if you ever want to, if you like this particular layout in terms of the parameters that you have, then you can always uh, save the layout as well, right? Um, you can export the data and you can also um, save your column setup as well. Okay, guys? So go ahead, sign up for your free account at a minimum if you want to use smaller time frames. I appreciate the love. Um, go ahead and register through my link and I'm going to have a lot more of these tutorials coming your way.